Hey, what's up guys? Joker here. Today I'm going to be walking you through a couple of essential fixes for Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus, which just recently released on the PC. If you missed it, I did a couple of videos on the performance of this game and a full performance review for the game with AMD and NVIDIA graphics cards. If you missed that, I'll go ahead and throw a card up on your screen right now if you do want to go ahead and check that out. But as I said at the start there, I've got a couple of fixes for the game, not fixes, but tweaks really, to get a better experience with the game and save you some time and hopefully have you enjoying the game a little bit more. We're also going to have the 8K Uber textures and uh, yeah, the latest driver from NVIDIA, which is going to be optimized better for this game that I wanted to inform everyone about. But first we will start off with the 8K Uber textures and how to enable that on the PC. So in order to do this, it's just really a simple config tweak. So to do this, you're going to want to go into your file explorer and then go ahead and open up your local disk C. Then you're going to go to users and whatever your profile happens to be. Then you're going to come down to saved games. You're going to go into machine games, which is the developer for Wolfenstein the New Colossus. Open up the game folder, the base folder, which is the only one in there. And then you've got two files in here. You've got the CFG file and the local file. We're going to be concerning ourselves with the local file. So I'm going to shrink that over there just for a moment. And we're going to open up our favorite text editor. You can use Notepad if you want. I personally prefer to use Notepad++. So you just grab this file, just drag it in there, and that's it. So now you've got it in Notepad++ or Notepad if you happen to be using that, unfortunately. And the option here we're going to want to concern ourselves with is IS underscore pool size, which by default on the highest in-game setting. Now this will this will change if you happen to be playing on like medium or low or something. But if you're playing on the Mine Laban preset, this is what it goes up to, 4,095. Now if you want to get 8K textures in the game, all you have to do is set this to 8192. And that's it. Then just hit save and go ahead and launch the game. Now, whether or not this is going to be worth it to you is, you know, going to be a little bit subjective. To me personally, I didn't find the difference to be worth it at all. You'll be seeing a side-by-side -side comparison here right now with the game running on the Mindlaben preset with the 8K textures versus with the uh, the standard 4K textures without the config tweak. And I can't really spot that much of a difference apart from the fact that I'm getting a lot less frames or even sometimes where I'm coming down below 60 FPS here. And this is running on a GTX 9, uh, sorry, 1080 Ti with the latest driver that's been optimized for this game, which is 388.13. It just came out today for Wolfenstein New Colossus. If you haven't gotten that, you should definitely go and grab it as it is optimized best for this game on NVIDIA cards, and it does have some essential fixes in there for Kepler-based graphics cards as well. So, yeah, not really that worth it, honestly, in terms of the, the looks of, the, of it. Maybe if you were playing at 4K, let's say, you might see a little bit of a difference, but you're still going to take a massive hit in your performance, and I really don't think it's worth it. And as you'll see on the VRAM, it's using all 11 gigabytes of my 1080 Ti's VRAM. You really are going to need like a 1080 Ti or a Titan X Pascal card, which has 12 gigabytes of video memory in order to be able to run these 8K textures. So it is really ridiculously uber uh, intensive. So it's, but it's there though. If you do want to use it, it's there. So I just wanted to go ahead and bring that to your attention if you want to go ahead and check it out. Here's a couple of screenshots really quickly, just, you know, side by side showing them. Um, yeah, and like I said, I really don't think it's worth it. If you want to get the full effect, you can go ahead and ramp the uh, resolution on YouTube up to 1440, which will give you a higher bit rate. Uh, but yeah, don't really think it's it's worth the cost of performance. i much rather be playing the game at over 100 frames per second on my 1080 Ti rather than hovering around 60 to 80 and sometimes even going below 60. But there it is if you guys do want to go ahead and tweak that. Now, the next one is really just meant to save you time. It's going to, there are two of these options which you can use. You can use one or the other or both or neither, really whatever you want to do. The first one is to skip the intro videos when you start up the game, which you cannot skip by default. Like, no, you can't hit any keys on the keyboard to get past these and they just take a really long time. I actually went ahead and timed it and it took 39 seconds to get past these intro screens. Go ahead and take a look now.
So yeah, that takes 39 seconds to go ahead and get through if you let those run. Now, if you want to go ahead and skip those, there's a command line that you can do in Steam, which is plus com underscore skip boot sequence space one. So if you do want to go ahead and use that command line option, you can go into Steam where you have Wolfenstein 2 installed, right click on Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus and come down to properties. And then you're going to want to go to set launch options and you're going to paste it in right here. And I will put this down in the description so you can just go ahead and paste this command line into here. Now there is a, sec a second command line which you can utilize as well, which I have right here, which is skip key press on load screen, which should be pretty self-explanatory. When you load into a, a, a save file, when you load up the game or if you die and come back, you have to press E on the keyboard to be able to load into the game, which is just like an extra step um, that really just kind of gets in your way of playing the game. And it's one that I really don't find necessary at all. So I'm using that command line um, adjustment here as well to be able to skip past those. So if you just put both of those in your launch options for Wolfenstein to the new Colossus and hit OK, that'll be applied to the game. And then the next time you open up the game, it'll actually only take you five seconds to boot into the main menus, which is awesome. That is um, more than 30 seconds being saved from going from having the load screens to not having the load screen, which is a lot of time. Like if you add that up, let's say, let's say in your lifetime, you happen to boot up the game a hundred times and you're using this command line option, you just save, you just got back 50 minutes of your life that you would have, <laughs> that you would have completely lost. I think my math is correct on that. Yeah, if you boot up the game a hundred times, you're, you're basically getting back 50 minutes of your life by using that command line option. So highly recommend using that one if you're impatient like me and you don't want to sit there and watch load screens for 39 seconds every time you boot the god darn game. Now I had mentioned there was a NVIDIA driver that you can pick up which is 388.13 which just came out today. Over the weekend there was a hotfix which was 388.10 but now they've come out with the full Wickle version of the driver that's the you know basically Windows approved version of the game ready driver for Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus from NVIDIA. If you want to download that, I'll leave a link to that over in the description below as well. But I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here, guys. If by some chance you still have not picked up Wolfenstein 2, then I will leave my affiliate link over to cdkeys.com down in the description below, which helps me make a couple of bucks every time anyone purchases the game using that link. So I will get out of here. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. If you did enjoy this video and you learned something new, don't forget to leave a like on it down below and subscribe if you're not already. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Ta-ra.